Hey guys, this is Dr. Jennifer Sue again. I wanted to give you a three month update after doing the vampire facial on myself. practice gynecology in Jefferson City, Missouri and absolutely enjoy it and have gotten into vampire procedures for the past three years. The three months ago I got my O shot by Dr. Bonnie Freeling if you remember. She gave me the um, leftover PRP that she didn't use and said why don't you just put this on your face tonight when you take a uh, you know take your makeup off and I thought to myself why don't I just do a vampire facial on myself and just kind of do a three month follow-up. So as you know, the vampire facial is used to, as we age, and I'm 51 years old, as we age, we lose collagen and we lose um, the, the ruby red, not the ruby red, the rosy red color to our face because it just starts getting a little bit on the grayer side. So you lose that kind of radiance and the PRP that we use from our own bodies stimulates collagen production by sending out our stem cells and growth factors to those areas in our face that have lost the kind of that really that really pretty rosy hue that we have as children and young adults so i'm super happy with the results i'm going to take you into the original room where i did it to kind of show you different areas of my face and have the same angle and the same lighting it's obviously daytime today and um, it was seven o'clock or eight o'clock at night that day i filmed it but I shut off the blinds in that room and have the regular lights on. So let's go see the results and definitely there is benefits to it and no side effects. So no, not, I shouldn't say no side effects, but no like um, bad things that have happened to my face. So let's go. So this is the original room and I did the vampire, there's our centrifuge, but I had put my phone up on here and did the vampire this way. So that's how I did the whole thing. So right now I don't have any makeup foundation on my face at all. And I just did my eye makeup this morning. So you can still tell that I still have my natural freckles and things like that. And I have a little bit of sun damage here. But overall, I love, and this is like the worst lighting. This is like really harsh fluorescent lighting. I absolutely love the radiance that the Vampire Facial produces. Absolutely love it. It's been three or four months, I think. So I highly recommend the Vampire Facial. And you just want to make sure that you're doing the Vampire Procedure by a person that belongs to the Cellular Medicine Association because that's a standardized procedure on how we do it. And so you're not getting someone that's just putting PRP in the face. And I use Skin Pen, which is the microneedling device. Let me show you. So we use Skin Pen. And we use uh, Apex Biologic Centrifuge. And so we get seven times concentration of platelets. I always put my notes here for like the major procedures, O shot, P shot, because I don't think it's very good to forget anything when something's so expensive. Um, this is a funny story. This and this is in our O shot PRP room because as you know, I do both, but look at them. I don't think I have to explain. <laughs> but one of our patients had this painting one of the artists that had painted a guitar from her donated it to her. It didn't match her house, so she donated it to us. And I thought, that's going in our O-Shot room for obvious reasons. And then that was a young kid that came from New York City, just kind of going around the country. I forget what the organization called. And they were selling these for $20 each. It's a 3D painting or 3D picture. And he goes, we're trying to raise hope across America. And I picked out this picture, bought it, because obviously that had to go in our P-Shot room. So I'm hoping if you're thinking about doing the vampire procedures that number one, you get with someone that belongs to the Cellular Medicine Association. That's the only way that we're allowed to advertise under the vampire name. This girl is from Germany, very pretty. Dr. Runnels, 
wanted to use her because she was just the right look for his vampire. Not too young, not too old. And um, vampire. So if you're going to get PRP vampire for the face, I highly encourage it. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. If you give this video a thumbs up, it really helps the YouTube algorithms and it helps us out a lot. And also please subscribe. Um, or you can give our office a call. I'll leave our office information down below if you'd like to schedule a consultation or appointment. Thanks. Um.